Should you buy a Nintendo console in 2024? Well, that's up to you. Let's get into it. Now, a few reasons why you would hold off to buying a Nintendo console would be because of the Nintendo Switch successor or Switch 2, whatever you want to call it, would be coming out around next year most likely. But, I mean, this is about pretty much any Nintendo console. Now, recently, I just got myself a Wii U. Yes, I know, the Wii U. The, this console, the console of many mysteries. But anyways, this Wii U, it was actually pretty cheap. Now, the reason maybe you would want to buy a Wii U is to play some of those classic games that have not came to the Nintendo Switch yet. <clears throat> Wind Waker. But anyways, that's near there. But most of the fan favorite games can be played on the Wii U. Uh, some of them are incredibly cheap. If you want, you can get yourself a Wii U. Now, should you buy a Wii U? That's honestly completely up to you. But I'm, I'm having a fantastic time with my Wii U. Playing family games with my family um, is is really important. I, I love doing that. We play some Mario Kart. We also play Mario Party 10. I actually got that game pretty cheap. That cheap, that game was actually like $10 Canadian. I'm not even lying. But anyways, we also like to play Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. That game is... Uh, Pretty, pretty good it's I really enjoy that game because like being able to essentially feel a completionist if you're a completionist and you like to feel a sort of completion uh, that's the game for you because there's a whole bunch of trophies and stuff and what I like to do is to go inside of if I'm not playing with my family or whatever I would go inside of the single player campaign and try to complete the entire round with a specific character, so the trophy ends up in the title screen. If you play the game, you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, it's kind of like a trophy collection little thing. And anyways, it makes like the completionist side of me like that a lot. So yeah, the Wii U, if you like family games and you like those things, you should get yourself a Wii U. They're probably not very expensive if you look in the right places. Now, for the Nintendo Switch side of things, if you don't already have yourself a Nintendo Switch, maybe your Nintendo Switch broke, or you had one before and then you sold it for an Xbox or a PlayStation, or maybe you never even had one, should you buy a Nintendo Switch in 2024? Um, well... Now let's look at it. The hardware of the Nintendo Switch is really old. But does that make a difference? Because we're looking at the Switch and the Switch 2 side of things. I'm thinking that it's going to be backwards compatible with the older Switch. So like this generation and next generation is going to be backwards compatible with these games. Should you get one though? Just in case, because you're still probably around like 8 months before you get your hands on this new system. I mean, you, you probably could get one. If you look in the right direction again, you could probably find one for a little bit cheaper. If you want to buy it brand new, that's probably the best route, because you don't even know. You, you have no idea, because I have pretty bad impressions of like what people do with their system. Like, what if they just decided to take it, chuck it into the pool one day, call it a day? But now, it still works, it still works. But the charging port, you're having a really hard time because it's kind of shocked out of its mind and you're like trying to stick it in there and it's not charging. Oh boy, you, you don't know what happened. Maybe they decided to cook their Nintendo Switch one day because they wanted to see how the Nintendo Switch tasted. So they threw it in the oven and they turned on the oven and they're like, huh. And then they took it out because they're like, wait a minute, this could start a fire. Hmm. Okay, they take it out. Then they sold it to the retailer and they're like, well, it works perfectly fine. The retailer tested it out. Yep, it works fine. But you see, it doesn't work fine because the battery got like 
kaputs. So now, once it finally just kaputs itself, you ain't getting that thing back. So maybe just get yourself a new Nintendo Switch. I mean, if you want to play the fantastic library of games, I would say just get yourself a Nintendo Switch Lite. They're cheaper, and hey, you could probably just like get it and then sell it and then just get yourself or sell it a couple months before the next console but if you just want to play those games hey i say go for it get yourself a nintendo switch if you don't already have one now let's talk about the nintendo 3ds should you get yourself a nintendo 3ds in 2024 yeah yeah i think you should i actually think you should because the nintendo 3ds for some reason those things are actually Kind of expensive, but not really expensive. Some of them, like if you a 2DS, like a 2DS Lite, um, or DS Lite, those things are cheap, but the 3DS side of things are kind of going up in price. So if you like 2DS games, um, a, yeah, yeah, actually, those games are pretty expensive. I don't know, that's up to you if you want to get yourself a 3DS. But sometimes you can look in the right spot. Maybe you, you go to your local pawn store or something. Or a hawk shop. Whatever they're called in the States. I think they're maybe pawn stores. I don't know. But they're called hawk shops in Canada. But anyways. You go to your local store like that. And you get yourself. A, or you look for it. Maybe they'll sell a 3DS for a good price. You're like, hmm, look at the games. Oh, Pokemon. $100. Never mind. The games are kind of expensive. Nintendo had to close down the store. But the games are still fantastic ones. Some of the most beloved games aren't even on the darn Nintendo Switch. Uh, Link Between World, Animal Crossing, uh, Mario, yep, 3D World, Land, whatever. Those aren't on the Switch. But the Mario games aren't actually the expensive part. You could probably get a good Mario game for maybe $20-ish. So I'd say, if you like to play Nintendo games, hey, go for it. Get yourself a 3DS because this is the best way to play some of the most beloved two-screen thingy games out there. You can't you can't play that on a Wii U or a Switch. So a 3DS may be your only option. There's also probably you'll be able to find the games a good way, you know. You can, you, the pawn store's probably got you. Maybe GameStop or EB Games. That's got you. Anyways, moving on. The Nintendo Wii. That thing. If you not sure about the Wii U and you want something a little cheaper and classic, because the Wii U has a virtual Wii, but it's not the same. Anyways, you can get yourself a Wii U for $80 Canadian, probably $60 US if you're looking at your local place that you use the, the resale place, hawk shop, pawn store. If you're looking there, you could probably get one for really cheap. Like, really cheap. Like, no one wants their Nintendo Wii's. And the games are even cheaper. Some games are going for like $10. If you want to play Mario Kart Wii, because that thing is widely known all over the place. Uh, maybe $20. Maybe. You could probably get yourself a Nintendo Wii. If you want to play Nin Wii games in 2024, play Wii games. It's not that expensive, actually. It's maybe the... Pr it's actually the price when you think of it. Oh my gosh. The price of a Nintendo Switch game. You can get yourself a whole darn Wii for that price. Oh my gosh. Where have we gone? Where have we gone? What... What happened in the last few years? How is the most beloved Nintendo console so cheap? And then the games for a Switch are so expensive. What happened? I think this is going to make me go crazy. Oh my goodness. But anyways, if you like Wii games, if you, you maybe you had one in your parents' house. Or maybe like you had one years ago and then you decide to sell it or something. Uh, now's the time to probably get yourself a Wii. Who knows? Maybe they'll go up in price one day. I don't know. Okay. The next Nintendo's console here we're going to talk about is the Game Boy. This is for the retro people out there. The people that like retro stuff. Hey, should you get a Game Boy? Well, 
there's better options because uh, the Game Boy games, if you want to save some money, uh, the Game Boy games are extremely expensive. Like, if you want to play Pokemon or something, uh, you're looking at 200 to like 250 for a good working Pokemon game. What happened? But anyways, there's actually not any uh, legal way to play Pokemon games now in 2024. If you didn't get them on the 3DS with Virtual Console, you can't get them, so you have to get them on the Game Boy, but that is a whole story on its own. You used to be able to play a whole bunch of Game Boy games on the 3DS or the DS, uh, but now it's kind of... It's kind of kaput. Anyways, should you get yourself one? If you like retro games, I mean, go for it. But if you don't really care about them, well, there's definitely better options. All right. Let's go for the GameCube, the uh, Super Nintendo, and the Nintendo 60. Oh, wait. No, no. Let's just do the GameCube. All right, let's do the GameCube. Should you get yourself a GameCube? I mean... Probably not. There's other ways to playing those games. Uh, most of the games are actually on the Wii U. And you can just play GameCube games on the Wii. So, should you get one? That's up. To, that's completely up to you. I have no idea. Anyways, moving on. We're going for the Nintendo 64, the NES, and the Super Nintendo. Should you get those? You can play those games on the Switch. You don't need one. They're super expensive. And, um, yeah, you're just pretty much wasting money at that point because you can play them on the Switch. But if you're retrospective and you like retro stuff, go for it. You like your, your good old Nintendo consoles. Now, what did you think about this video? Did I miss any? Did you find it goofy in every single way possible? Because, oh boy, that is, uh, that, that's not my intention, trust me. That's totally, no. Uh, that would be crazy to think that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and making it all the way to the end. Because, like, I really, 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 really appreciate it. And with that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. And maybe go for a swim if you live in a warm place. But, hey, whatever. It's summer. You can, you, you can do what you want. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I said that three times, but I hope you have a fantastic day. See you in the next one.